hello 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 welcome back to my youtube channel uh i know it's been a while i did promise that i'd be posting every sunday but um the sunday that i was supposed to post which was the 23rd we went away to the trans sky for christmas and i did take a few snippets of the road and of the scenario but i hardly got time to like vlog or do anything back there because you know my goatee guts to work guts to do things and then when i got back this saturday i got i was sick i got sick already there on the thursday um through to friday saturday traveled back home it was a mess um i had gastro um so i was having diarrhea vomiting the works and then i came back home and i thought okay i'm feeling a bit better and then it just kept getting worse and so i went to the doctor on wednesday and my intestines were swollen whose intestines are swollen who has swollen intestines i've never heard of that but i did and so because of that oh my gosh shadow so bad but it is what it is um because of that i had to get medication i was eating less that's why your girl got collarbones showing right now and yeah so posting was hard editing was hard i was hardly doing any of that but today is like a day where i I, f I feel like myself i feel like okay i'm getting there i'm obviously not eating other things like chocolate and sweets and all of those and it's sort of things i'm just eating your bland your veggies the normal food and stuff <clears throat> and i'm just keeping it plain but yeah so i do however i have vlogged a bit um, for my week before the week that I was supposed to post so let me give you snippets of that and yeah I definitely will post again if you haven't liked it please like subscribe tell your friends comment let me know what you think tell me what you want me to post what to talk about and yeah we'll see each other on the flip side so today I went to the spa the nice thing is that I gym at profiles gym in in William Moffat Expressway and what I love about it is that it's got a spa and it's got a hair salon within the gym um I don't use the hair salon because yeah it's not catered for my people but what I do use is I use the spa I got my nails done I don't know if you can see that and I got my toes done and I got my eyebrows done. I don't usually have eyebrows. I get them tinted and waxed. And as you can see, even the tinting is very low because I hardly have eyebrows. But what I realized is that self-care is so important. And I haven't done any pampering for myself since I had since I fell pregnant. Um, no, no, I lie. Since I had my baby. I haven't really done my nails. I haven't done my feet. And I just wasn't feeling good. And I'm not saying that you should stick to materialistic things. But it's okay to do things to make you feel pretty, to make you feel good, you know? On the road we go. So we uh, aren't... Uh, uh, Thanks. First of all, there's not even a stereo system that we can dance to, but it's okay. It's all right. We're on our way to Green Acres to do some shopping. Lies. Probs. I'm going to window shop because life and budget is like that. Featuring is the baby girl, but I'm not gonna show her off yet because yeah, the world doesn't know her. But yeah, man, we'll catch you and tell you how that goes. Force, cause you a muck. Yeah. Might as well go. First of all, <laughs> she looks confused. the drive of shame but anyways i wanted to rant about something so i was looking for baby christening dresses since my daughter's getting christened like real soon on christmas day and i went to all the the different baby shops that you find and i couldn't find a dress and i found one white dress at ackerman's that had a gold um bust area it had like gold on it and then it had this cute a little thing for the baby's head. What is it called again, friend? A headband thing. Yeah. Yo, wow. That's what they do. <laughs> so I got um, it had a headband thing. It was really cute in my head. I was like, um, 
okay I can, I, I can get this for my daughter also just excuse the boob that's showing I was breastfeeding so it is what it is anyways so um, when I found the material inside Wow it literally was swords they were going to cut my child's skin open I've never felt such rough material and that, that doesn't make sense because you're making clothes for kids um, why would you make the material so rough inside so I was like you know what I can't do this I can't let my child go through this and be pinched yeah she's featuring pinched throughout the entire procedure because I don't even know how long the church service is going to be so we walked past this other shop called the baby emporium and I had gone there once to go look at um, the white dresses they had for babies but it was ridiculously expensive so I was like you know what it, it, it's just it's not gonna work out but I was with my mom so we walked past it and I'm like ah oh, mama so nice white dress here but they're expensive my mom big mom mama ah, let's go in we don't have another choice now we've gone to all the shops can't find any white dresses <sighs> long story short um, I swiped 550 Rand for a piece of material <laughs> <laughs> my soul left my body 500 do you understand that they didn't, even, they didn't even use a meter of material I buy material for myself when I'm getting my traditional stuff done and that's 56 rand for a meter wow no a meter and that material wasn't even a meter hi gay but anyway we got this gift um, to go with our big sale i love how my mom was like no we're gonna go half half it's fine if it's expensive but when i got to the till um whose card came out and who did she look at she looked at me anyway so we bought it and we got these organic um stuff to wash a baby and all of that which i found really cute but i feel like we paid for the organic stuff because i know organic stuff are probably 450 so I'm, I'm feeling that the dress is probably only 100 rand and we paid for the gift that they gave us but anyways it's really great material i like that she'll be the only one who has that dress but i'm just really upset the fact that i spent 550 rand and now a girl broke now i'm thinking about that 550 that i could have used you know for other things but yeah man guys let's not sell baby stuff for so expensive prices like i can't deal anyway so when we left the shop i was like mama gay you said we're gonna go half of mom was like i don't know what you're talking about so that's my life right now yeah we're gonna go to the beach now and just try and yeah Back inside. yeah go inside rather yeah but we'll check you all later We're in Summer Strand getting ready for the beach. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I love when we got here and we we're like, ah, oh, we're gonna go to the beach, and then we kind of like uh chilled, yar and ate. And then I realized that um actually I don't have a costume because the costumes that I did have before were size zeros. Yeah, no, she's no longer size zero because motherhood um but we improvised so now i have a costume and i'm loving it i have boobs now like i used to be an a cup or actually just to wear a bra to be polite but can you get away with putting tape on your nipples that was me before motherhood now i'm rocking a whole cleavage i'm not complaining i am really not complaining i really like that so we're gonna go to the beach it's gonna be iana's first time at the beach um she doesn't have a costume because this was just like a last minute thing as always this will be the first time i'm rocking my mother body and i'm just so chilled like i'm really chilled i thought i'd be uh, self-conscious whatever but i've come a, a really long way and i'm excited so let's go to the beach beach we are at the beach it looks beautiful there is a high tide for days but i'm not complaining iana's first time she is steering into the water like what is happening moms why is there so much water yeah i know the day is beautiful and yeah let's get the day going Sahashari. hi <laughs> <laughs> wow the enthusiasm is yeah day done and dusted um as you can see bra i look ashy i look nigerian i will drive you one day 
<laughs> bra range rover it's happening that's me in the future i look actually i look dark because i'm um, melanin is popping because sun was in my face but that was really great i got some great pictures first experience for iana yeah um from zero to ten zero being the lowest ten being great she was a minus two she really was over it really got over it and then she fell asleep she's gone now but we got to take some pictures and chillax and now we're on our way back to Asheriz's apartment you which is right opposite the beach oh my gosh <laughs> there goes my car I'm gonna drive you one day yeah man I had fun I love the beach because it reminds me so much about when I was still at varsity and it's always been a place that I go to when I really need to find peace you know beach day been great hi Hayes. so today um i just got a message from my twin sister and sister that they're on their way to my house so they literally just like knocked and they just arrived um it took me a while to open up for them because i didn't want to because i don't know why they're just gonna rock up at my house and i was sleepy but they are here they are chin chilling we might go to balkan's food truck i'm not sure because i need to do washing and stuff since we're leaving tomorrow so i'll see how that goes but that's exciting